Ja, så ska säga god morgon och välkomna till Frankrike. Det är väl årets häftigaste tävling för vår del i mästerskapet så. Man har ju varit lite nervös för den här länge. Alltså sen man hörde att den var på kalendern för den här ju. Ja, med all historia liksom hur stort det är och mycket bilar. Och, och efter man hade kört på banan första gången så blev det bara jäklar. Ja, man ska säga, det går ju hur fort som helst. Alltså det är väl inte så svårt att lära sig själva layouten. Men det är svårt att få till alla grejer på den. Ja, men otroligt viktiga utgångar överallt eftersom det leder till så långa raker och sånt. Det är sätta dem samtidigt som man vill så sent som möjligt liksom in dem. Vet du hur snabb snittfart den här på den här banan? Eh, vi snittar ju över 200 ja. Så att eh, igår där andra träningen så man var trött alltså. 45 minuter med snitt över 200 km i timman. Man har typ suttit i bilen en och en halv timme innan i line -up. Det är varmt liksom. Jag tror vi slutade köra typ klockan 12 igår. Så det var väl som varmast liksom. Då var man seg alltså. Mm. Även fast man tränar mycket, man var trött alltså. Mm. Och då kör man bara bil. Så att, eh... Men det här är ju gå tillsammans med franska serien. Ja precis, vi kör med franska så de är väl ungefär 30 bilar ska jag tro. Vi kanske är ett 20-tal. Sen så är det då 13 gästplatser för där ja, i stort sett folk från hela världen kör, Australien och Nya Zeeland, och, eh, Asien, USA. Alltså det är verkligen folk från hela världen som kör. Ska vi göra mer i sådana vända här? Nej, vi ska väl bara försöka fånga atmosfären här nere. Snälla runt i depån liksom. Och... Det är rätt mycket människor. Det är mycket människor, det är mycket bilar. Ja, det är ju galen stämning runt banan liksom. Har man aldrig varit här, då ska man inte alltså. Ja, vi kan väl säga att träningarna var vi 24 och 22 i första och andra träningen. Så att vi är nog lite off. Men är vi rätt bra till i din klass? Ja, i klassen ligger vi bra till. Ja. Vi är ett i svenska och tre i totalen. Så, så att, eh, målet är väl att ta pole i den klassen i alla fall såklart. Nu kör vi på det och så ser vi hur det gick efter kvalet och så tar vi lite allt annat. Det gör vi då. Ses! Did you find something nice, Jens? Sorry? Did you find something nice? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? The Camaro is unbelievable. It sounds quite a lot. Oh, yes. It's huge. What is it? Is it something special with it or is it like... Uh... It's an S car in uh, its own class. Yeah, it's just one car but in, in its class and it's uh, yeah, specially made for this uh, Lamont race. It's cool. <laughs> Känns det bra? Ja, det känns bra. Ja, det är lite varmt, lite nervöst, lite blandat. Ja. ja, det ska bli sjukt, sjukt roligt. Ja, det är väl bara att trycka in några okej varv i början och sen pusha så är det man har hoppat på att ha lite flyt med slow zone. Så. Det är en hel del väntande bara. Det är mycket vänta liksom. Det är en, en, och en och en halv timme sedan snart vi liksom börjar åka. Och det är rätt varmt i bilen? Det är varmt och man får ju vara nervös lite längre. Det går ändå rätt bra. Ja, vi kör hårt så hörs vi efter. Ja. Hur gick det? Eh, ja, jag tror det är lite trafik i Paris en fredag eftermiddag. 
Om man jämför med här ute idag. Nej, det var mycket. Så det var väl det svåraste nästan och det var ju typ ing- det var inte en enda slow som det var lite gul flagga en slow som hade men eh... och var en slow som bara för ja jag fattar eller det var inte de drog ut de grejerna men det blev aldrig slow som då är det typ att man åker 8 km i timmen istället för att ha röd flagga Aha, okay. man får värma däck för fort för alla bakom vill åka om liksom typ snabbt och jag tycker vi har för lågt tryck när man ska börja åka och då blir det Ja, inte riktigt bra. Vi lär oss mycket från det igår att man inte tar någon curb alls snabbt första två varven. Även fast man vill börja åka för att ja, så får man bara åka runt istället. Då. Vad då då? Alltså, vad... Ja, men det är så lätt att det slår igenom liksom däck och fälg. Och det blir punkt eller? Ja, det kan bli punkt eller skada på fälgen eller ja, ja, skada på däcket också. Att eh, sidorna liksom blir förstörda. För man vill ju ha en viss liksom... Stivhet. Ja, precis. Ja, det var en, en som kom in efter varvet och däcket var typ kränkt av. Ja, precis. Det är när man börjar liksom åka så här i 250. Det är klart det kränger liksom. Det är inte så konstigt. Så är det. Yes. Vad var det, vad var det, vad var det för placering? Eh, 32 tror jag. Jag har inte ens sett själv men jag har bara hört det. Så det jag vet inte. Det är skit liksom. Ja. Så. Vi har, vi har inte kört långsamt men... Eh, Ja. Sista varvet var på väg att bli ännu snabbare då. Skulle köra om en bil eh, och där fanns ingen plats där liksom. Så att snurra runt på asfalten kunde jag åka tillbaka då. Ja men dels där med sen sista chikanerna. Det är som två chikaner innan man kommer i mål mm. Och där, jag vet inte om ni har sett Formel 1 så blir det sådana jävla kö när alla ska vänta på fritt varv. Och det är inte så bra då när en annan kommer på snabbt varv och alla har parkerat där liksom. Nej, så att... Eh... Jag vet inte. Man har ingen lust att sätta någon i dörren där heller. Liksom, så att man ja, får väl typ slå av. Även fast man bara vill åka rätt igenom. Man liksom. vill inte dra en knut så. Nej, det är att det blev en knut som på både en svensk och en fransman idag. Ja, oh, för fan. Alltså. Ja, men som sagt, det är ju race och slipstream är ju liksom helt det är sjukt här. Alltså. Det är just det race att imorgon alla startar samtidigt på det här race. Ja. Det kommer bli spännande ner på raken alltså. Då är vi bara hopp på lek resten av dagen så vi hittar vi på lite annat. Ja vi går väl runt här på och kollar lite. Ja. Kolla datan lite och se vad som är möjligt att åka. Mm. För ja, sektorerna var väl okej på det. Är det bra? Ja. ja. Då ser vi. A bit more as well. Ja det händer inget där. It's a good balance I think. But even less. We are not having any. Now you have to cut. <laughs> well, you were actually breaking later than yesterday for the first chicane. Mm-hmm. Then same, same, same pressure. Then and then you actually earlier trailing off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it felt more safe today. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, but how should they know in Japan how the weather is in Le Mans? <laughs> Did you check the Ur Ur weather? And it shows that it's raining now. No, not yet. Well, maybe in Japan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Should we bring an umbrella for the truck walk or? Yeah, no. A few moments later. Hmm? It's getting no late. rain for two, the next <laughs> two hours. When I was with Matte Carlson in the Monza when he drove Super Cup, we drove, uh, we walked the full lap and it was all good. And before the last, uh, the Parabolica, entrance of Parabolica, it started to rain like drops like this. We were completely, completely wet. Did yeah. you find anything useful on the data? Yeah, Indianapolis. <laughs> yeah. One corner out of 29. <laughs> So what did you find? Different braking behavior and uh, adjustment, refinement of brake balance. So tomorrow it will go even faster? Uh, yeah. Tomorrow actually we will go a little bit slower because it will be yeah. wet. <laughs> and then we have to find new tricks. But uh, you are from Scandinavia, you know how to go sideways. What do you feel about that Oscar? Sideways. Is it okay? It's more fun. <laughs> yes. yes! Wait, wait, wait! Wait! What we're waiting for? For me. I go. Yo, 
internet. You have to say something. Me? But I think it's uh, too much sound eh, from the back. No, no, we just welcome everyone to the track walk. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the third corner, I would say. Yes. In my head it is that so. Much. Totally third corner. So, and behind us is the famous Dunlop uh, Bridge, or I don't know what this is called. Yeah, Dunlop Bridge. It's pretty nice. Just the area around here if we just... Uh... Okay. So, the first one is like a very fast one and then this is a fast chicane, I would say. So mm -hmm. this is on the GP track. Yeah, it's still on the, the small track. So yeah, on the, yeah. On the so we uh, the Bugatti. It's actually. Is it their test track or? No, it's a, it's a real race track for uh, for smaller Grand Prix races, which they can use like every day without disturbing the the public traffic. Before this place, we have this tight chicane, turn two and three, which is quite uphill, and uh, second second gear, yeah. second gear, uh, causing. Quite some oversteer but because uh, of the off camber in like yeah. feet or in the middle of the chicane is in like the middle, yeah. And tomorrow in the rain that we think will be in the race, it will be very, very, very tough for all 63 cars to get through here, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. We hope for the best. <laughs> so, see you in the next one. <laughs> I like the wind. The world of sweat. Very well. Yes! How are you doing? It took three hours to get out of my bar. I don't know. The characters are still there. No, but it's a little bit of a mess. You can see a water hole on the rack. What should you do? Så är våra amerikanska vänner där liksom. Ja, ja, ja. Nej men det är ju festen hela banan alltså. det, det hör ju till liksom. Ja. Historien av racet. Nej så, så, äh, men då vill man gärna stopp, stanna till här och ta en alkoholfri öl liksom. Really good. <laughs> Just put in yours was like uh, next level stuff. <laughs> Now we have a look at the data. <laughs> For the moment I feel like I can break like 50 meters later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, really tricky corner. Mm -hmm. You break a bit after like the 200 meters. You have like 290-ish. And then you ride a lot on that curb. So yeah, a lot. So mm -hmm. the car is not like you so much. What should I say? Yeah, the thing is you don't want to come too deep into like the second part of the chicane no. because the exit for the rest of the straight is like super important. And this is the second chicane on this Yeah, the second. And what kind of speed are you going in between these like two chicanes? Or something. This is a bit slower, the other one is like 10k faster or so. So the first chicane is the fastest one or? Yeah, I think that's the fastest place on the track. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's uh, the, no, the exit of the of the last corner from the infield is uh, a bit more fluent than the previous chicane, and uh, so here it's a bit downhill and you arrive a bit faster. And if you are lucky and you got a good slipstream from a guy in front of you, yeah, you are meeting close to the ref limiter of the of the car actually. Mm. So it, uh, the car can't go faster than this, and uh, we are close to 300 then it's uh, on Oscar to find the, the right breaking point and to get the, the perfect transition from the left into the right hander mm. and into the left hander to uh, carry a lot of momentum on the next straight okay. yeah. and uh, yeah in past time these chicanes they haven't been here so that's the pictures you see on the on the YouTube on the videos where the, the cars go above 400 kilometers an hour do you know when they like install these chicanes? Uh, no. No, we have to ask Google for that. Well, cut. It's quite a while. Cut, cut. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, now. Uh, since 1990. Mm, seems reasonable. 1990, I mean, the cars were quite fast. Time to make a chicane. I think they were fast in the 80s and the 70s yeah. and the 60s. So. Yeah. But yes, did they reach 400? I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was actually the fastest straight section of any racetrack in the world. Uh, it's the Moonsan straight. 405. And which car? Yeah, I know this uh, would have been. <laughs> <Go cut. laughs> it's a Peugeot. A Peugeot? Sure. <laughs> now, now, now we have the cup. <laughs> yeah, now we have the cup completely. Ferrari? Porsche? I hear this. The speed record was broken at an official 405 km per hour, but it was said that 422 kph was also recorded on the lap, the measurement of which would have been critical. Peugeot released the 405 sedan that year. So it was a Peugeot. Mm. Fastest. But uh, we are faster in the corners with the Porsches. <laughs> Did they win that year? Or is it just... Oh, you asked the question, Scott! <laughs> ah, we, we can take we that later. We will never make it before <laughs> the rain comes. Yes. So for the next corner or bar or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. What should we tell about this corner? What's the name of it? Super fast. Indianapolis. Daytona, Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Yes, Indianapolis. So this is the one that you were talking about breaking points before? Yeah. Yes. So you break like... A hundred? Maybe? A bit more? So that is like where this uh, green uh, fake grass is starting or... Uh, like, uh, and then you don't look at the gravel, you have your eyes up in the next corner, in uh, one second you're there, so... Because it's going pretty fast. How fast? I don't know, like... Yeah, here you have like close to 300 probably. And oh, wait, I can tell you. Cut! Cut! In our car, it's not on the Google or... No, 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 no. <laughs> you have the video, maybe. Where's the fucking video? I don't know. Which video is it, Cut. by the way? <laughs> no, your video. You're oh, driving. Mine. It's actually... 285 only. Or? 287. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. It feels kind of slow when you're... Actually, yeah. And this is the corner we found the biggest improvement today for the qualifying, actually. It's quite important to carry a lot of momentum into and to trust that banking what you see with the camera. Presses you and gives you a lot of support mm -hmm. to go around. And uh, even if you think you went too slow, you should not go back on power because you have to be on the brakes for the exit for the next left hander in time to catch the banking for good acceleration and uh, the corner is from 1923 it's quite 100 <laughs> years old if you are asking I don't know. and uh, on that uh, on that straight here they they reach 405 <laughs> kilometers per hour <laughs> on this one too and it was a pusher and there was no that's the same straight huh? no no you just have the 90 degrees over there ah no uh, also yeah. here they did 500 maybe oh, okay. 500 <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Feels like the history book is not uh, valid anymore. <laughs> I think you mixed up the bars and the corners. For the moment, but, uh, yeah. Okay. I can show the back. <coughs> A lot of banking. Yeah, the banking approved. Uh, the banking is approved for the abs. Yes. Indianapolis. It is also Indianapolis. Yeah, the passages. Oh, like sessions. <laughs> now it's <asking> Google again. <laughs> and here they do like 400 in this part. <laughs> here they did 600. <laughs> oh shit. Our Google is not so fast. Mm. No, it is actually SS, the SS de Indianapolis. Uh -huh. yeah, the next one is oh, no. the Virage de Anarch. Yeah, sounds a bit funny. Do you have something else to say about this corner? No, it's uh, banking if you miss that one. But, uh... yeah. Yeah, 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 it's important to, to force your eyes to the left side if I may say something intelligent. So nice. <laughs> yeah, the exit is pretty tough with the gravel and. Uh... It's easy to end up in the gravel. Yeah, it's kind of easy. And the banking, the banking disappears yeah, in the, the exit. Banking disappears. So support goes away. Cool. Okay. Let's go to the uh, Anarch. So what was it? The Anarchy corner, and then it's like uh, no, six Anarch. police. I don't, I don't know what's over Anarch. There, yeah. I'm just sure that they go in the wrong direction. You have to yeah. go that way. Right. Oh, yeah. 
90 degree. It's a, actually a 95 degree, 95.6 degree caller. Quite tight. It's first or second? Uh, I do it in second now. In second gear. First okay. in the beginning and yeah. now second. So the minimum speed is about 85 ish. Sounds quite easy, but you need yeah, to find the exact easy, point. But someone has put some tires uh, on the exit. Oh yeah. And then it's a long straight, so early power is the key. So it's super easy with oversteer. You don't want that, so yeah. Exit. Yeah, you are like this from the tires. Next up is the Porsche. Yeah? Yes. Let's, Let's go. go there. There's some water coming. This uh, session is flat out, so it won't be a problem for us. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you, I, I break at 100 meters. I don't know what you break with the scooters now. But ah, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So you do like 280 in, I think. Yeah, close to. You have sixth gear, you shift down to fifth, have about 180 as minimum. And then you just go full power and then you take the Porsche curves like flat out. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you have to trust the, the rear wing, the aerodynamics of the cup car quite a lot. So it's important to roll off the brakes to, to not unbalance the car actually too much. So that you have a very smooth, smooth entrance and you can carry the momentum. Because after this, we will see in a, in a short moment is a left hander following, which is that close driven to the wall, and there you don't want to have any under or oversteer. But Oscar, Oscar does it without uh, any any little lift. He just goes. I try the cur inner curb once. I don't do it anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's yeah, go. Let's go to the next one. Oh, it's actually steel. Yes. And yeah, this one is not soft. I think there is some red here from a mirror earlier on <laughs> from today. It's actually down there, you see? Oh yeah. yeah. But there is in damping behind it. Yeah, I don't think how soft it is though, but I think you get like a fucking ping pong ball between <laughs> the walls if you crash here, so... But this is the corner where you get close after the porch corner. Yes, that it were. Sure. Yeah, so this is flat out 250, 15? 15. Yeah. It, it feels quick. At least. This is one of my favorite places on the track. Yeah, the car feels very good. And is it because it's a high speed corner? Yeah, or? I, I like high speed corners. Mm -hmm. Bigger is bigger and more. <laughs> That's what I like. Yeah, it's the beginning of a very, very fluent. Or well, let's say the second step of a very fluent part of the track where you can either win or lose a lot of uh, seconds yeah, time. Yeah, but we have uh, shown a strong performance actually in this. Actually, Oscar is the, the right one to do such a corner to carry a lot of momentum. Um, we will see in the next one. It's quite important also to not carry too much momentum because you need to get the next right in there. Yeah, the next corner was possible to do flat, but it was not the fast one. Because you ended up like too long out. Do you want to say something about this corner? Yeah, the upcoming corner is tighter than you think. Uh, at least in the sim, or what do you think? You'll think? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I, I didn't make it even once in the simulator actually. <laughs> Yeah, you arrive here with uh, from this uh, super fast double left hander over the bridge, and then you need to find the transition into this one without losing too much momentum. But you need to decelerate a bit, and um, yeah, it's quite important to look far to the right side and not slow down too much. It's momentum you will never get back for the rest. And uh, actually, in this one, you you hug the inside all the way until the end over there, because after this the Corvette corner is coming. And then you need to be completely fully right. That's, That's the, uh, another challenge. fast corner, right? Uh, medium fast. 175 ish? Yeah, 175 ish. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's an off camber corner, we'll see in a minute. And um, this leads to a lot of understeer first. Tough with track, track limits and stuff. Yeah, track limits. And there's a nasty curb on the outside, which unbalances a bit. And what can I say? Here you go a bit sideways. Yeah. Before you go on power again, so yeah, or at least sideways is good. Yes. <laughs>
So, how do you like this one? Nice too, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's tough. Because you have to be like on the white line out here and then just throw the car in without unsettling. It's easy to fuck up here as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so early power is key here. It's a high minimum speed as like every other corner. Feels like it's the same theme uh, throughout the, say, the whole lap. Yeah, it's super easy to drive a race car. Just uh, <laughs> brake late. Brake late. High minimum speed and yeah. early on power. Then you know, yeah, then you're the fastest. So will we try to finish this before the rain starts or? Oh yeah, I think so. What's a corner from 1923? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Your corner. No, actually the, the importance is here that uh, Oscar is not lifting. Even if he feels he's a tiny bit too fast that he stays on. Mm. Because otherwise he will get a heavy oversteer and yeah, uh, spins, but uh, he, he really knows how to position the car here. And, and when uh, you're saying lifting, you mean like uh, lifting from yeah, off the gas? Just lift, lift the throttle, yeah. yeah. It happens quite often that people get scared at the exit of this corner because they feel, oh, it was a bit too early in or a bit too fast, and then they, they lift the gas and this brings the weight to the front and unsettles the rear. Yeah, on the left side there's a quite a stiff uh, wall. <laughs> which we don't want to meet. We have seen some accidents yesterday and the other days before. But uh, yeah, he will make it, I'm sure. Uh, we walked the full lap and it was all good. And before the last, uh, the Parabolica, the entrance of Parabolica, it started to rain like drops like this. Okay. So we're in the second last chicane. Yes. And uh, it starts raining a bit. <laughs> So, uh, we hurry up. <laughs> so even if you see there's green on the dashboard and you made a good lap, you should not uh, destroy everything in this uh, chicane. Yeah. It's super fast, but you need to be awesome, precise, uh, especially since you rush in here really, really fast and then you have the second chicane over there. You need to stay in the middle of the track to get the final left right which is really tight and it's got a high concrete curb on the inside mm. which you shouldn't touch and then uh, next lap yeah exactly and it's pretty many have like been spinning between those two corners like uh, loose in the rear here and then end up in the Motul area I've done that in the game a few times as well when I have green on the dashboard so <laughs> but that's a good thing we only do it in the game. Yeah, for tomorrow, if it if it rains like now, then it's a challenge here to find really the line with the grip to, to go off the rubber and to get the best acceleration out of the corner on the long start finish. Rate. But now, would say. <coughs> so I don't think the cat likes to be uh, wet. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back Fuck. to the tent. I think pretty pretty fucking fast. <laughs> Uh, det var en bit tillbaka till trailern kan jag säga, så att vi var ju dyngsöra när jag kom hem. Bytte tröja och gick och käkade lite middag, så ska du vara... No, keep going, keep going! <laughs> oh, it's only Swedish! You have to speak Swedish! <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, I can. <laughs> Give me a few minutes. <laughs> Two beers and then you speak fluent. Uh, yeah, no. so yeah, then we had dyngsöra. Uh... <laughs> Bytte till engelska. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Det är ganska svårt det här med språk, det blir hela tiden som det är engelska eller svenska så här om vartannat. Ja, men nu är det typ bara sova och sen är det race man bytte. Typ 11 ish. Mm, så det är så morgon imorgon. Ja, eller ja, det är pre-grid vid... Ja, det är alltid pre-grid två timmar för att man ska ut och känna det. Det blir alltid tidig frukost och liksom sådär, men ja, det är sådär. Dagarna blir ju långa då, liksom när man är uppe kvart till sju, så man är uppe till tolv. Så att det blir lite så. Alltså. Man får lägga sig en timme på dagen när det som varmast tar lite sist. Ja, imorgon så är det ju också ja, 24 timmars racet så att vi... Mm, så att imorgon, men imorgon vi, ja, på söndag ska man inte göra någonting direkt. Så att då kan mm. man ju vara ner natten och liksom kolla på det här. Det är ju det största eventet inom motspråk. Liksom. Nej, men i nästa avsnitt får ni se hur racet går imorgon. Om det blir torrt, blött, eh, vad som händer. Hur många bilar som går i mål av alla 63. Även om jag med där under start om 24 timmars race. Ja, vi skulle försöka filma inte allting. Ja, men lite på igår. liksom. Ja, så att man verkligen får ja, men lite så här en hint om hur det ser ut här. Ja. För alltså, det är så stort så att man fattar inte om man inte har varit här. Jag gillar man motsport åk hit liksom. Någon gång i hela livet. Även om man inte gillar ja. motsport kan man vara kul liksom. Så att, äh... Ja, jag tror det. Det känns som att det finns ja, någonting även om man inte är jätteintresserad. 
ja, man är otroligt tacksam att få köra det här liksom. Jag tycker att det är så bra att vara med och filma. <laughs> Man får nypa sig i armen liksom. Ja, ah, men vet det. Ni vet ju. Tch, tch, tch. Yeah. Nu vet ni. Eh, vad tänkte jag? Ja, men såklart. Gillar när vi gör. Gillar prenumerera. Titta igen. Ja, ah, så att ni inte missar något helt enkelt. Mm. Så ah, men skriv en kommentar om ni tycker vi ska ha längre videos, kortare videos, engelska, svenska, något annat språk. Vad vet jag. Nej, inget ja, annat språk. Eh, nej, men vad ni vill liksom hänga på så. Ja, men det är kul att veta vad de, eller ja, alla, alla vill veta vad de ser. Funkar. Ja, för det är också det här. Det är svårt att komma på vad för oss idéer ibland när man går runt här liksom. Och... Ja, det är ju det. Vad ska vi filma liksom? Något som är självklart för dem kanske inte. Eller för alla som tittar kanske inte är självklart för oss. Så det är bra, bra. Ja, då ses vi nästa avsnitt. Det gör vi. Imorgon. Imorgon. Eller? Hur var det? <laughs> <laughs> ja, nästa gång. Tja. Tja. Tja.